guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. What's up? Sherry here. So this is going to be a twin flame reading um, for February the 21st until um, March the 1st. So I'm going to do an elemental reading. Um, so there's going to be four cards on each side which represent the four elements. Earth, which is a physical, mental, air, um, Water is emotion, and fire is spirituality. Then one card in the center, which is the soul. And then um, I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck to see what energy is connecting the two sides. So this could actually represent um, the two aspects of yourself uh, and so that you can see where you need to balance. Um, but I've got four decks here. Uh, I think uh, Tarot Illuminati, what else? The Rider Weight, um, the Gilded Rider Weight, which is Tarot, and what else? I'm missing one. Um, oh, uh, Alan Shaw. Okay, so I'll pull the cards. Actually, um, I'll have to look at them. I'll uh, pull the cards, look at them, and then we'll go through the positions. Okay. So this is going to be water. So I always start with the masculine first. So this will be his emotional position. For the feminine, emotional is the high priestess. The fire uh, is the ten of wands, which is spirituality. Um, and I always continue to just pull the cards in the masculine side until it fills up. Um, and then I do the feminine side. Okay, so this is, I believe, is going to be air. So mentally, he is the king of swords. All right, let's see those okay. Oh, yeah, and we have Kurt Cobain joining us here today. All right, so final card is the physical, which is the devil for the masculine. Alright, so mentally for the feminine, the fool, I don't really read reversals though. Um, yeah, okay, well I'm, I'm being called to keep it in reverse. So spiritually, the emperor. And... Um, physically, the three of pentacles. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck and then I'm going to pull one card from, call it Baron Reed, to see what energies are at the soul. But let's look at the bottom. So the strength card is what's connecting them. Alright, so what should we use here? Um, yeah, it's used. Uh, Wisdom of the Oracle by Colin Baron Reed. This one for the masculine is Chaos and Conflict. And for the feminine, To the Sea. Alright, so let's see here. So let's just begin with the masculine. We'll go through each of the positions for him and then we'll do the feminine side okay so for the masculine emotionally he's being represented as the seven of cups so as you can see by the picture there are a lot of options all of these cups are filled with um, you know different offers um, you know they're all supposed to represent really good 
things that are being offered and you just don't know which one to choose. Uh, this is also of having your mind in the clouds. You're kind of daydreaming. Um, you're wondering if everything's an illusion. So the message to this card is to follow your heart. Use your heart to guide you. Um, yeah. So this comes after like the Six of Cups, which is a reunion card, somebody from the past coming back. Um, so perhaps there was a connection that you made with your masculine or your feminine, sorry. And, you know, you're just, you just don't know which way to choose. You feel a connection, you feel love, but you're, you're confused. So I just, I almost forgot. Oh my God. Ever cute. I actually have. A tiny little deck here that I made. <laughs> I made it for my daughter. So let me just shuffle it. Why did you do that, Sherry? Because it's cute and because I can. Oh my god. So I was even thinking, oh look at that, the four of wands just kind of flipped up. Um, should I keep that out? Yeah. You know what? I, I just wanted one clarifier for this card and that's the one that showed itself. So that's use that. We'll go with that. But they are too small though. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys I'm such a spaz. And I also made another deck here that has the words written out. The deck that I had that's replacing this one. Um, it was just me writing on the cards and it was really too hard to read. So I, um, yeah, I should be able to read these no problem now. All right. So, and I couldn't help but notice the reach out card was screaming at me at the bottom of the deck there. So the masculine emotionally, he wants to reach out. The, the four of wands is the twin flame connection. Um, it is the twin flame connection manifested into the 3D reality. So it's, it's, it's feeling like, you know, you're making a commitment to, to someone, your true love. And so that he wants to reach out, he wants to express his, himself emotionally, um, but he doesn't know which you know road to take. Basically, I'm probably gonna lose my little card down there, but that's cool. All right. Um, so mentally, he is the king of swords. Wow, you cannot get more clear head headed than the king of swords. Uh, so this could represent an air sign, but really this is um, somebody who is able to communicate, somebody who makes decisions, takes action. So there's a sense there mentally, he's already formulated a plan of action. Um, and in order to activate or move forward with this plan of action, it requires him to detach emotionally. Um, but I'm not really feeling that. I mean, he's like in this emotional cloud, you know, it's, and there's a sense that he's carrying a lot of, a, a lot of burdens that have to do with his ego or an attachment of some kind. And so he's in this chaos, this confusion. And in order to release himself from that confusion, he needs to be, you know, the King of Swords. He needs to embody this this powerful energy. So this could mean he is in the process of making a choice because of the seven of cups there. He hasn't fully made the cups or the the choice to reach out to connect with his soulmate, his true love twin flame. So I'm just gonna pull one little card from the top of the deck here. Wow, the Emperor same card that's coming up in the feminine side. So, you know, the, all of the kings are, you know, the four elements of the emperor. This is the archetype. So right now he is embodying, you know, the king of swords, who is the ice king, um, in order to make those decisions. But really, you know, he's, what I'm feeling here is he is activating that part of himself at the core of who he is. He knows he's the emperor. He, he's this, you know, divine, masculine, powerful being. Um, and he's making choices that are true to himself, right? There's this authenticity that comes from, 
you know, that gives him power. And he's also the protector. He is also somebody who takes action. He has the same mental clarity, right, obviously, as the King of Swords. But this is, there is so much power and truth here. Um, it's, it's calming and soothing to me. Do you know, it's like I've made a choice. I've made a decision. Now, he could also be desiring to speak his truth. Right, and so once he comes out of that cloud, um, he'll reach out possibly and communicate honestly. Okay, so for the physical world, we have the ego. So this is a major arcana. Uh, on the feminine side, she has three major arcanas, very heavy energy. Um, but for the masculine, he's only got the one here. So. This is the ego. I don't know why. I, I just, I love this card in a sense that there, he represents these primal desires, right? There's a masculine here. He's got his horns on and he's like all flaming and fiery and everything. So in this deck, it represents, you know, the fiery heated passion um, of sexuality, you know, desire. So in a way, I see it as a power. There's something driving him that's primal. Uh, but on the other hand, it could represent addictions, codependent relationships, self-limiting beliefs. But I don't see that self-limiting belief there. I see, um, I see power, right, with the Emperor and the King of Swords. Very powerful. So there's a sense that he's going to take that sword and, and set himself free of the burden that he's carrying on his back. So one card from the top here, three of swords. Wow. So this devil energy, this ego is causing his heart to break. Three of Swords is a broken heart. And, you know, he wants to release himself from the ego, from this pain, from this hurt. And, you know, it's beautiful that the King of Swords is showing up because the Three of Swords is mental. It's thought, right? And that's what's going to release him. By following his heart, you know, seeing whatever this is, for what it truly is, is something that is not good for you. And it's almost like the devil's looking right at it, right? He's looking down, seeing it, seeing the illusion, seeing, um, you know, that you've been trapped, wanting to break free of it and making that decision to do it. Okay, so what is in a spiritual or fire element? Um, this would be the Ten of Wands. So the Ten is completion of a cycle, first and foremost. Okay, but it also represents getting to a point where you've taken on so much, you want to continue, you know, um, proving yourself and being at the top, but basically your body can't handle it, and so you collapse in exhaustion. And so the choice to get some rest, the choice to share the burden is no longer up to you. It's up to the fact that you have exhausted yourself. So the 10 is over. That's it, right? It's a completion of this cycle that you've been going through, which is beautiful to see. It's the phoenix rising from the ashes. So the 10 then reduces back to the ace again, and that's that go like go time. But right now you need to rest. Um, whatever you've been battling is taking a part of your soul away from you. You know, you're giving too much of yourself. And, you know, so that energy that you've been giving to the external world needs to be turned within. Um, 
Yeah. So what I'm feeling strongly is you masculine are in the eye of a storm. And, it, you know, even though there's this, this battle happening, you're just, you're calm, you're peaceful, you're in the state of grounded knowing you're in your truth and there's nothing that anybody can say to you. Um, even though you feel confused, you know, you know what you want, you don't know how to get there. Um, you've reached your limit, right? And so there, there's no cut, there's no, there's nothing anybody can say or take away from you. You know, there's nothing that anybody can do to, uh, to hurt you. So you, I feel that you're cutting that away. You're ending it. Whatever this burden is, it's over. Okay, so I will read that card at the end. So let's go over to the feminine side here. So emotionally, the feminine is the high priestess. Boom. The high priestess, very powerful being. This is somebody who's intuitive, has foresight, can predict patterns of behavior to, to see where it's going to lead. Um... This is somebody who's also seeking answers. There's, uh, you know, again, a sense of confusion. And so she is tapping into the subconscious. She could be meditating. Um, you know, she, she's discovering truths about herself. So let me just pull one more little card here on the top of the deck. Wow, the two of wands. So this is that... You know, the, the soul opening up, it is seeing all the possibilities, seeing things from a higher perspective. And so what I see here is this, you know, Kundalini awakening, this door, this conscious awareness staring back at me right now. Very, very powerful. And so... I also feel that she's doing this in order to connect with the masculine. Um, you know, there's this, again, there's these two cards standing side by side. This, the emperor, the king of swords, and the high priestess is a power couple staring straight ahead, right? While all this chaos, all this confusion is happening around them and again we got the emperor over here right kind of uh, reflecting that power you guys are mirroring each other helping each other to find balance and stability okay so mentally we have the fool in reverse zero point so this is super consciousness here the high priestess is the subconscious right so the subconscious is memories, um, wisdom that you've attained from all of your life lessons over the, you know, um, over your life and previous lives. So because it's in reverse, it doesn't make much sense because this is your higher self. This is clear, pure consciousness, a state of pure potential. And so it's also a blockage because you're not taking a leap of faith. You're being foolish, right? You're going to fall off that cliff, basically. Um, whereas this upright would be like careless abandon. It's like you're, you're free to do whatever you want because you're free of attachments. There's nothing holding you back. So even though mentally the feminine is trying to maintain this sense of mental clarity detachment maybe she feels that she's being foolish being um i don't know either way this needs to be upright right so let's just pull one card to see the Nine of Pentacles, self-love card, independence. The Nine of Pentacles is, um, you know, manifesting this, this stability and success in your life, having enough 
financial freedom in order to go where you want, do what you want. Um, splurge a little, right? But it's all about self-love. You've accomplished so much and now it's time for you to treat yourself, right? So in reverse, I'm going to pull one card from my other deck here just to see what's going on. Sorry, I'm realizing how tiny this deck is. You can't really see the details on the cards. So, for the masculine and feminine readings, I'll use the bigger deck. I just wanted to show you. Oh my god, I love small things. Isn't that weird? Alright, so let's just have one card. What do you mean by this cluster of cards, please? Stay. Reverse is move. Stay, right? Wow. So, upright is... is you need to make a choice to take a leap of faith, to um, turn the love to yourself, look after yourself, um, free yourself from attachments, but be ready to start this new adventure, right? And so you're in a stay put position. You haven't fully committed to starting a new adventure even though you you feel successful you feel ready to do it you don't you're not um taking that leap of faith you're 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 deciding to stay where you are you're yeah but if you are to move there's a sense there's this you know success and abundance that's there for you to have okay so in the foundation, or sorry, in uh, the physical, she got the foundation. So this is a, a sense of stability. Um, you are using your talents in order to gain wealth into your life. Um, you're being recognized for your talents. This could also mean partnerships. Um, this is also an apprentice card. You're learning new skills. So in the physical, this is a very very stable foundation you know and and things are you know there's growth um on top of it that is you can't knock it down basically right um you know that this is grown from you know the success has grown from your your talents so let me just pull one card here wow heart chakra so you're living from a place of love you're doing what you love you're pursuing the things that you love and you know the fact that the heart chakra is activated here tells me that um, no matter what you do no matter what happens you're going to be in, in a place of unconditional love for everyone and so that's what gives you that stability that groundedness so yeah what I'm just noticing here is the heart shock activation over here whereas on the masculine side it's a broken heart not feeling safe not feeling um connected to somebody right that a karmic partner a codependent relationship something so what is in the masculine or the feminine spiritual space is the emperor so again very grounded, very um, protective, um, somebody who makes decisions, somebody who is, you know, embodying, embodying this power, masculine power. So for the feminine, I feel that she is balancing an emotional with, with like uh, the feminine aspect and the masculine aspect, even within her own little zone here, the feminine side, right? Um, the masculine is trying to do that, but the the ego, the devil, is is fucking with him basically. So the feminine's feeling stable, but she feels maybe that things are going to stay the same, or that. Maybe she's made a decision to stay where she is, whatever that means. But, you know, that doesn't really make much sense because the message here from the 
you know, her soul is the fact that she's going with the flow. She's allowing the current to take her. So since I brought that up, let's go ahead and read these soul cards. So the masculine got 33. Okay, and so it says, being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time, right? And that's what I was feeling, um, you know, with the mental clarity, that's, that's awareness, crystal clarity. Uh, and so is the emperor as well, right? Very grounded in the moment. So it says the, rela re blah. <laughs> the relationship message. It's easy to yearn for love affair or friendship you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. Passionate, right? Wanting more, looking out. Okay, so the good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Hold on a minute. I'm, re I'm reading the wrong card. So what the heck? Number 33. Oh, that's 32. Okay, so if if I'm reading the wrong card, Spirit wanted me to do that, right? So it's really definitely reflecting on this side, this feeling of being stuck, held back, confused, um, but trying to be in the here and now. And that's definitely what I was picking up with these two cards here. There's this chaos and confusion, but yet groundedness. Okay, let's, whoa, let's read the right card. All right, so the essential meaning, disarray, being at a cross purpose with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. So the relationship message, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict deep down you want to be resolved. Yes, exactly. This is an opportune moment to learn from your values, sorry, learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. And that's exactly what I was getting with the Emperor. What's important to me, right? Trying to make that decision. Some things are non-negotiable. Yes, the King of Swords. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher grounds, right? Cutting away those stormy, confusing clouds of emotions with the King of Swords who is um, emotionally detached. Soon the air will clear and you will find a much better place that, than before. For the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things <clears throat> can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. Yes, and it looks like you are. And all that confusion, you are trying to be in that state of now, that state of groundedness. And you're making choices that are true to yourself and, you know, you're following your heart. Um, the Ten of Wands is also being caught in the machine, right? Um, and breaking free from that is the chain that's holding you back. All right, so number seven. Okay, so being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires, to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads, right? So she is trying to detach, trying to go with the flow. You know, the emperor is somebody who controls, who takes action. So she's, she's calming that within herself, right? She's returning to herself and just allowing things to happen, right? So... The shared energy between the two aspects is the strength card. And that's what that's all about, is calming the beast within, taming the beast within, not reacting in situations. 
using love, kindness, and compassion in order to transmute a negative environment into one that's positive and open. So this is what both aspects are bringing to the union, is this love, this gentleness. And, and that's beautiful to see, right? She's learning how to let go of control and go with the flow. Right? And that's what this is. Go with the flow. Flip it around. And let's flip that over to move. Look after yourself. And on the masculine side, um, you know, there's this chaos and confusion that's happening. And instead of lashing out at others, saying things that you might regret, um, allowing the ego to take over, you know, because you're tired, right? There's a sense that there's this volcano that's about to erupt with, with this fire here. And when it does, it's this soothing energy that will help him make it through whatever difficulties that he needs to face. Right? So don't overpower somebody. Detach if you need to, emotionally, definitely. You know, your emotions are, are clouding you at the moment. But you feel you need to do something in order to free yourself. Um... So, yeah, just go within, calm that beast that wants to lash out, that, that's blaming somebody else. All right, so, you know, yeah, let's go ahead and pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids for final messages from the universe. So, what final messages do you have? What advice do you have? Stop. Feminine. Alchemical seas. Wow. And the masculine is a certain slant of light. Nice. So the masculine's card is about illumination. He's starting to see something. And that's definitely what's being reflected over here. While the feminine, this is more about creativity. I believe. Okay, so number 24. Okay, so Radiant Maiden from the Sea asserts her strength and authority, grasps her staff of power grand. With eyes aloof, she takes her stand. Among the beasts of the sea and land, she schemes to make all of them free. Why would she lead the likes of me? And that's, I felt that power for sure with the Empress, or with the High Priestess there. A powerful figure in a sea of surging, uh, sorry, surging with sea monsters, her staff of power soars her authority as the sky begins to brighten behind her. She is coming into her own and stretching her muscles, literally and figuratively, so the messages anticipate a new authority. The seas are turbulent with change, and soon a new power shall arise. A new figure of authority will assert itself into your life, and it is best to, be, to prepare mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and materially. This leader may be your professional, spiritual, academic or in social realm there may be leadership challenges at your work a new spiritual leader at your current place of worship or at a new one or even a new acquaintance who will become prominent in your personal life while a change of authority can be stressful or cause conflict for a time take heart once the seas have calmed life will return to a state of peace and stability Take the time to get to know this individual and learn how she conducts herself. Could she become a role model or mentor to you? Is she a cautionary example or is she telling you it is time to move to calmer waters? So again, the sense of moving to calmer waters, going with the flow, allow the current to take you where you need to go. Right? So it's a, a small mental block here. Um, but otherwise I feel a beautiful balance. The feminine is starting to realize that she is the high priestess and right? take that staff, become the spiritual leader, right? That's what the emperor is. Okay. So number 28, the masculine. From the darkness, the 
there emerges illumination deemed divine, feckless searching terminated by insight most sublime. From despair and confusion erupts another form of sight, lucidity, all resulting from a certain slant of light. A pensive mermaid lies in her grassy pond, waiting for an answer to come to her. A grand light shines from above, illuminating her and surrounding her in a moment of divine insight and understanding. Illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion are commonplace in this world, but do not worry. Illumination is coming in the form of a new way of viewing your environment or situation. Some call it divine insight, others enlightenment. Either way, be prepared for a new perspective. A sudden shift in thinking will arise from, uncover from the uncovering of unknown facts, opinions, and desires. Um, these new points will help you understand where you are and help you to answer some of the questions that have been gnawing at you for some time now. Be prepared though, the illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you do not miss out on the illumination you have been so long waiting for. There you go. So that clarity will come, right? That mental clarity will come and it's coming from an authentic place. So then you'll know it's true because it, it's your truth. All right. So I do hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. All right. Cheers.